Hey guys and welcome to a new exciting video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and if you're not, then I hope this video makes that day a little bit better. So my boy JR Ali dropped another amazing edit. Um, it's called The Japanese Dream and in that um, edit he had an effect where his body was glitching and glowing at the same time while he was moving around the city. It's created quite a ghostly effect like he wasn't actually even in the place and it went nicely with his title being fact that it was a dream so it made it look like he was imagining himself there which was really really good and effective now this effect is incredibly easy to create so I'm gonna teach you guys in Premiere Pro now let's hop into Premiere so once you're in Premiere you're going to need a couple of clips I will link all these clips in the description below so you can download them and practice you're going to need a clip that I've taken from J.R. Riley's don't don't blink video his channel will also be linked in the description below but anyway, I've taken a, bit, a short clip of, the, of him walking in what seems to be a shopping center. And then I've got a glitch overlay, which I'll link below as well. So first thing you're going to need to do before you do anything else is hit Alt on your keyboard and drag the clip up a layer so that it duplicates it. What you're going to need to do is make sure that you are, have toggle, uh, clicked on the toggle track output for um, track 2 so that you can't see it anymore. Select your bottom layer and go to the color panel. Once you're in the color panel, there are a couple of things you're going to need to do. For the bottom clip, you're going to go to basic correction and take your tint and move it all the way to the pink side. Then what you are going to do is uh, head over to the exposure and decrease the exposure a bit. Okay, so anyway, now that you've got your bottom layer pink with a little bit less exposure, um, this looks quite nice. Now, what you're going to need to do next is uh, click on your top layer and now switch off the first video layer. Once you've done that, then you're going to go to temperature and make it go all the way to the bluer temperature. You're going to increase the exposure a bit, uh, you're going to increase the contrast to about 40, and you're going to increase the saturation to about 136. Now I can turn both eyes back on. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to need to draw a mask over the top clip. Now this mask needs to start at the first frame and go through the entire clip and it needs to go around JR's body. You must leave a little gap, just a tiny gap, just to make sure that the glow looks real. I'm gonna str I can't stress this enough, the more time and more effort you put into the masking, the better your effect will look. If you, do, if you rush this, it's not going to look that great, so try and put a, a lot of time. So I'm going to start for you under the opacity tab, we're going to get the free draw bezier and we are going to draw a bezier, I mean a mask around JR Ali, something like this. Just going to go around his body. We don't have to be perfect because we'll, we'll make the fine adjustments just now. Just go in and out there. Okay, and now once you've done your mask, uh, you should have a pink background with like a blue JR Ali. So I'm going to speed up from now until I'm done all the masks. Uh, you just got to go frame by frame and move the mask uh, so that it stays around JR. So let's go. Okay guys, so once you have got your mask going around JR the entire time, the next thing you're going to need to do is change the mask feather so that the glow is not as hard as it would be. So I'm going to set the mask feather to about 85 and that creates quite a nice uh, like glowing effect. So once you have done that, you're going to need to drag the glitch overlay on top of your two clips. We're going to go down back to the second layer where the masked um, video is and we're going to go up to the edit panel up here and select copy. We're going to go back to the glitch overlay, go to edit and click paste attributes. Now we need to um, deselect effects and then hit OK. Now what you'll see is that the mask, I mean the glitch has now taken the mask effect as well. Uh, there are only a couple things we need to do to the glitch at the moment and that is if your resolution is not the same uh, as your clip you might need to scale it down however in this case we are fine. We might need just a tiny bit of a down scale here just like that. Okay then, uh, what you got to do next is uh, head over to your blend mode and we're going to change that to lighten, like that. And now we'll start to see the glitch really coming together on JR's body. Um, then we need to change the opacity. 
so that it's also the glitch is not as hard and it doesn't look like it's just another video. So we'll go down to the opacity and down over here we'll change it to about 10%. Now, you can see it's quite faint, but you will see it, and that's how J.R. Ali's effect looked. It wasn't so, um, it didn't stand out so much, but it was still there. Okay, then now to make this effect look absolutely amazing, we're going to drag the glitch up, we're going to duplicate the mask layer, and then on, that dupl on the one that we duplicated, we're going to go to the color panel, to Lumetri Color, and we're going to bump up the exposure a lot more, so that it's quite bright. We're going to go back to editing, we're going, to the, we're going to go into the effects control panel, uh, go down to blend mode, and we're going to change this to lighten as well. Uh, now what, and I'll show you guys a before and after without this clip as soon as we're done. The last thing we need to do is change the opacity to about 60%. Now if I deselect this layer, you'll see the difference. It makes quite a big difference. It makes him glow a bit more, makes him more shiny. And that's basically the entire effect. So let's render this, export it, and then let's watch our work. Whoa guys, that was a seriously awesome effect. Uh, I hope you guys can use this in your video. I really, really enjoyed uh, showing you guys how to do this. Uh, if you guys need any more tutorials, please let me know in the description, in the, in the comments below. This is actually my first tutorial on J.R. Ali. And you guys need to check out his channel in the description below. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do join the crew. Uh, I enjoy making these videos for you if you guys are content creators, filmmakers, photographers, whatever you guys like to do. This is the channel for you. You guys are going to enjoy my videos, hopefully. Turn on the post notifications, give it a like, comment, share, and guys, I'll see you next week or two weeks' time. Cheers.